Hey, hey, hey. Hello, everyone, and welcome to this edition of Office Hours with Lenora. Um, the series Office Hours with Lenora was created by me to help individuals that are seeking information to begin a career in real estate. Um, secondly, to help those that are currently in a real estate course pass that licensing course and exam on a first attempt. And finally, for those that are already actively working in, as a real estate professional, help them to stay in the industry. So today's live, today's live, um, as well as this recorded segment for YouTube, will focus on the newly licensed real estate brokers. It's going to be for you, you newbies, okay? And the topic, I'm just trying to make sure I said it right because when I initially created the subjects or the topics for each of these lives, because they come from me, I've been asking you guys to help me out with questions or content or subject matter that you want to hear about. So pretty much all of them up until this point have come directly from me. The live for today is going to center around new brokers, how not taking this particular class will jeopardize your license, okay? I sit in the role as the enrollment manager for the Realtors Real Estate School to help people that have already earned a license. Maybe this is their umpteenth renewal. It's not their first one, as well as to help those where it is their first renewal. What I am noticing as a trend, especially with the last two renewals, I'm finding that a new uh, a lot of the newly licensed, meaning two years or less, a lot of the newly licensed individuals don't know what to do. I'm scared when I hear that because a lot of the information that you would have covered in your pre-licensing course tells you that you need to complete a 45-hour post-licensing course, okay? But it's okay. I'm not going to punish anybody or you know, make anybody go stand in the corner today. We don't do that here. No shaming. What I want to make sure is that you know that there is a sensitive date that is approaching. And that date is April 30th of this year, 2022. Again, April 30th of 2022. And that one class that can jeopardize a newly licensed individual would be that 45-hour post-licensing course. The reason why I say it could jeopardize your license, because if you don't know you need to take it or you have not completed it by April 30th of this year, your license as of May 1st is inoperative, which means please do not practice real estate because you don't have a license technically. So my goal is to help all of my people that have been licensed after November 1st of 2019, so between November 1st of 2019 and October 31st of 2021, if you took and passed a real estate course and then found a real estate office to partner with and became licensed between November 1st of 2019 and October 31st of 2021, you need to complete the 45-hour post-licensing course. That is your first renewal. That is the coursework for your first renewal. You should not be taking continuing education for the first renewal. I will repeat. You should not be taking continuing education for this first renewal. Some of you are signing up for the wrong things. I put on here throughout this page, as well as media and marketing that comes through your emails to schedule a CE checkup with me through my Calendly app. I want to help you make sure that you're not making some detrimental mistakes. The 45-hour course is a continuation or that last step of becoming licensed. Once you complete the 45-hour post-licensing course and then you go over to the IDFPR uh, IDFPR's website to pay your $150 renewal fee before April 30th of 2022, you're fine. You're good. Go out there and sell Chicago, state of Illinois. I'm happy for you. But you need to start. 
You got to start like now because again, it's 45 hours. It is not something that you're going to be able to complete overnight in most cases. I wouldn't even try. It is um, a build or a, a, a continuation of what you've learned from transaction um, issues to risk management to the applicable stuff that you're doing in your office right now that you learned about in your pre-licensing course. So for you that are required to take the 45-hour post-licensing, do it now. You can register to complete this at your own pace as long as you get it done before April 30th by uh, purchasing the bundle package that we sell online. You don't have to um, join a specific class at a specific time on a specific date. You simply need to work at a continuous pace in getting the work done. After every 15 hours, you will take a 50 question final exam. Now, here's how you can risk your license, even if you take this class. If you take, it's three, it's three exams. So after every 15 hours, you take a 50 question test. You have to earn a 75% or better in order to pass that portion or that fifth for whatever 15 hours you're taking. If for whatever reason you don't earn a 75% or better on the exam, let's just stick with 75. Unfortunately, you are not able to do certain things with your license. In essence, you only can do administrative duties. You cannot, cannot, and you know I like to say in threes, you cannot handle earnest money. Any cash handling, um, checks, anything related to a transaction where you're handling funds for your client, can't do it. You can't negotiate on behalf of your client. So everything that you're doing as a real estate professional, because you did not pass all three parts of that exam, you're done. You can't do it. So in essence, your managing broker becomes you. They have to pick up the load or the workload of yours because you're technically not able to practice real estate actively with the license that you have until you pass that exam. So if you've gone through all three sections and you get to the third test and you don't pass, you got to stop. If you take the first test and you don't pass, you have to stop. You have to stop practicing until you're able to pass the test. This is why I'm saying you need to do this now. Because if you wait until April 29th, and you start calling up to the Realtors Real Estate School and you're mad at everybody and hotter than fish grease, there's nothing that I can do or the people that work at the Realtors Real Estate School. We've got to help you at that point position yourself to try to pass the test. And you've only given us one day to do that. So we want to start early. If you know somebody that's in real estate and you're not, and they're a newly licensed person, tell them to call me now. 312-214-5513. I want to make sure they're not making the mistakes that I see people making. I'm finding that some students are signing up for the wrong classes and then they're frustrated because you completed the wrong class. You still have to take the 45 hour. We can't swap out CE coursework for post-licensing coursework. So I don't want anybody to be frustrated I don't want you to get to the point where you don't know what to do. You throw your hands up. You're done with real estate. Let's talk. It is super easy to get this done. I myself am taking the 45-hour course right now so that I can get a student experience. And I'm working um, at a self-pace independently. Some students might not be able to do that. You may need a live instructor. We have very few seats left in any Zoom webinar. We're not teaching many of these classes in person right now. And I know that there is a Zoom webinar coming up as of March 7th in the evenings. So let's talk, let's make sure you get what you need so that I can help you get through this process. Make sure you pay the renewal fee to IDFPR before um, 11.59 p.m. on April 30th, which will be a Saturday. 
So make sure you're getting this stuff done in a timely fashion. So that is my advice to anyone who is a new broker. It is your renewal time. Let's make sure that you're getting the correct course done. Because if you're taking the wrong course or you haven't passed this 45-hour post-licensing course, you're going to be in trouble. And we want to help you get out of trouble as quickly as possible, okay? So I look forward to working with each and every one of you. I have a question in here from a friend, Mr. Jerry Montgomery. Of course, I can help you get your license. You know I'll help you, so give me a jingle. Um, we have classes coming up, broker classes as of March 7th. We will have in-person classes at our 430 North Michigan Avenue address. So I know that we're getting phone calls for that because the city and the state are lifting the mandates with the mask as well as the vaccina vaccination statuses as of February 28th, next Monday. At the present time, our school is still operating as normal. You will still need to show um, proof of being fully vaccinated or you'll need to show the results of maybe multiple negative COVID tests if you're going to be with us over more uh, a series of days. So you will still have to show that until we make a final decision. It's a process. Our board will need to meet to determine if that's something that we at the Chicago Association of Realtors, as well as the Realtors Real Estate School, would be lifting as well. Um, so be patient with us um, in, in, in terms of us making this decision. Just know that you still have to wear your mask when entering our building. You'll still need to show proof of vaccination as well as um, or the results of some negative COVID tests. OK, March 7th for two weeks, 9 a.m. to 430 Monday through Friday. We'll have the in-person sessions and then we'll start Zoom webinars again in the evenings on March 21st, March 21st. The evening sessions will be 5.30 till 9.15. It's three nights per week and it's via Zoom, okay? And then we'll, we're gonna have um, a leasing course that's going to be in person starting March 21st as well. So the March 21st in person, 430 North Michigan Avenue, we'll have the residential leasing agents taking classes with us on that day too. So March 21st and 22nd. So that's all I have. I'm really, you know, we're in the crunch of CE season and I'm just finding so many people making some mistakes that I was like, let me hop on here and help some people. But you know what to do. Give me a jingle, call me, email me, set up an appointment on Calendly. Let's get her done. Ta-ta for now. I'll see you on the next live. Bye-bye.